Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. Here we are going to do question number 5 of activity 10.4. The question says that the following truth table is for a logic gate called the XNOR gate. So if you see your right hand side, this table is representing a gate that is named as XNOR gate. This is actually the reverse of XOR gate that you have studied before. If you see the inputs, there are two inputs to the gate A and B and there is X as an output. So if you see the values of A and B, if A and B are similar 0, 0, 1, 1, then you are getting your result 1. Otherwise, if A and B are dissimilar 0, 1 or 1, 0, then your output will be 0. So, this is just the opposite of your ZOR gate. In ZOR gate, what we have seen that if your A and B inputs have dissimilar values, binary data, then you will be having your result as 1. But here, the, this is opposite. A and B with similar values, similar data is going to give us 1 as an output in XNOR gate. So, if this is clear to you, now quickly moving towards the next part of the question. The question says that by completing the truth table below, there is another truth table given to you. Show that the XNOR gate can be represented by the following logic expression. So, a logic expression is here. A and B is getting OR with not A and not B. There are two parts to this logic expression. What you have to do, there is a table for this logic expression where you have to find out A and B, then not A and not B and then you will be performing an OR operation between them to find out the result. Once you will do, you will fill the truth table, then you will see that if this result is same as this one, 1, 0, 0, 1, if both of the outputs are same, then we can say that this logic expression is representing your X NOR gate. Now quickly start the working. Okay, A and B are given four different values or four different binary combinations. The first one is 0, 0. Let's find out A and B here, which is the binary multiplication. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 1. Sorry, this is multiplication. So it is 0. Then 1 into 0 is 0 and finally 1 into 1 is 1. So we are done with A and B. Now quickly moving towards not A and not B. Okay. Not A and not B means that first you have to calculate the values of not A and not B. We can write it as A bar and B bar. So, A bar is the opposite of A. 0, 0, 1, 1. A bar will be 1, 1, 0, 0. B bar is 1, 0, 1, 0. We are done with not A and not B. Now, we will do end operation between them to find out the result of not A and not B. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. And finally, 0 into 0 is 0. So, we are done with both of the columns. Now, the final result will be the OR operation between both these inner brackets of your logic expression. A and B, not A and not B. So, let's do the OR operation between them. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 and 1 plus 0 is, sorry for this, 1 plus 0 is 1. So here now, once we got the result, let's compare both of them. We come to a conclusion that both of these results are same. Both have 1, 0, 0, 1. So, it is very clear that this logic expression is representing your X nor gate. This is what you have to show in this question. So, thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned, stay connected. 
hopefully we are going to start another big chapter of this o level computer science so stay tuned stay connected bye bye